Uh, you mentioned you were talking in August, in the, in the first month of the season, that you thought it was time for Harry Kane to have his contract sorted. Is it frustrating for you now that it hasn't been sorted? Mark, uh, sorry, uh, can, can you repeat the, the question? Sorry. In August. In August. But uh, next August. Yeah, no, the, the one that's just gone. That's at the start ah, of this okay. season. Yes. You, you said now is a good time for Tottenham and Harry Kane to sort the contract out. And now, six months later, it hasn't been sorted. Okay. Is, is that big frustration about how you want to plan your plans at the start of the season to now? Yeah, but uh, you know very well that uh, uh, in this type of situation, uh, uh, it's uh, it's difficult for for the manager and uh, to for, for the coach and the coach to to go into this situation and to to force the situation in one side on the other side. I think that uh, uh, yeah, there is the player and uh, and uh, and the uh, and the club. Uh, to try to to find the right solution, you understand? For sure, well, I, I can tell you that uh, every every coach <laughs> wants uh, Harry Kane uh, into into his team. Yeah, but then uh, uh, you know football. There are uh, uh, a lot of different situations uh, that you have to see and uh, to uh, to find. Uh, uh, to find a solution, but um, it's up on uh, on the player and on the club, uh, not on the, not on me. In uh, if they ask me my evaluation, my 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 yeah um, decide, and uh, yeah, I, I can tell you that uh, Harry, Harry is a is a, <laughs> a really important player for for. For this team, and uh, is the the most representative player for this team, and uh, you know the importance that he has in uh, in our in our team. So, do you think your own situation has had an effect on this contract? Should a top four team have so much uncertainty over a its manager and b its star striker? But you know, and uh, uh, to, to finish to, to finish in the top four, uh, it will be very important for everybody. Uh, for first of all, for for the club, and uh, yeah, for the players, for the manager, for uh, for, uh, for for our fans. For sure, if you finish uh, in uh, in the top four, I think uh, many many situations are more more simple. Because you know that you are going to play in Champions League, and uh, I think the best player and uh, the best club wants to play this uh, this competition. But you know, uh, we have this idea, but other clubs have the same idea, and uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Rob. Hi, Antonio. <coughs> if I could just ask you, I mean, if you were to leave Tottenham this summer. Would you personally be disappointed that you couldn't win a trophy, given you had won at Chelsea and at Inter and at Juventus? Would you look back and say, yeah, maybe I could have won something at Tottenham too? But um, I, for sure, my uh, in my mind, uh, in my in my heart, uh, there is always. Uh, the win to lift trophy, and for this reason, uh, uh, since I arrived in uh, in Tottenham, I tried I tried to push a lot the total environment in the right direction. But uh, as I said to you before, and uh, I understood that before to uh, to, to, to to reach an important level and to. Uh, yeah, to, uh, to to gain a win, to gain and to, the possibility to lift a trophy, 
I understood that uh, there is uh, there is a path. There is a path that uh, we have to to go to go together and to and this path. Uh, it means that you have to work a lot. You have to to learn uh, to live with the pressure, to learn uh, to live with the stress, to learn uh, to 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 live with the fatigue of the situation because uh, I have never seen in my life uh, teams that lift trophy without pressure, without stress, without uh, fatigue. Yeah, and uh, but for sure in my mind, uh, in my heart, I have uh, always uh, this uh, this ambition, this desire, and I tried uh, trying to transfer this uh, this my my feeling into into the club. Then after one hour, a year and half, I think that uh, we improved in many many aspects, but uh, we need to continue to uh, uh, to walk to walk in this path and uh, sometimes uh, during this path I think that uh, uh, we failed we failed for uh, because uh, uh, we weren't ready to face the right pressure uh, the right stress and uh, under this aspect, I think that we are working, we are working. And, uh, but for sure, uh, the team, uh, this club, uh, I think that is uh, in the right direction. And uh, because the work that we are doing is an important work. I think the club understood this, the club can see this, and uh, we can develop a lot in, uh, in the future. And... Uh, but I repeat, and uh, I understand understand the fans that they are frustrated because uh, uh, they don't see us. They they uh, uh, we are we are not uh, also in this season. Uh, we weren't good to to lift trophy, you know, and uh, with uh, with them with our fans. And I understand uh, this frustration. But at the same time, I can tell them that uh, you are working very hard to make the, them proud and uh, to to try to bring this club to uh, yeah to be optimistic for the future and uh, to to build something important to be ready to to lift trophy. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Hi, Antonio. <clears throat> um, back to Harry Kane. Uh, he turns 30 in July. Having worked with him, we know how much you rate him, how much you think he's a world-class player. Just wondered, the way he keeps himself fit, do you see him having the longevity of a Ronaldo, a Messi, a Lewandowski, being able to score, rack up the kind of goals he has this season for many years to come? Yeah, but uh, about my experience uh, as, a, as a player, and uh, <coughs> when... Uh, When you reach this uh, this age, 30, and I think that uh, uh, if before uh, you pay attention uh, in uh, all the aspects of your life, uh, like player, uh, when you start to uh, to become a holder, okay, and then uh, you start to be really, really strong. To pay attention in uh, every aspect of your life as a as a as player, and uh, to take care uh, a lot about yourself on the pitch, outside of the pitch, and uh, we are talking about uh, a player that is a uh, show every day to be really really good professional, and I think that uh, I see for him. Uh, for the rest of his career, uh, a brilliant future, because uh, he take he takes care uh, about himself, not only on the pitch but also uh, outside of, of the pitch. And I think uh, this is the the key when uh, you overcome the 30, uh, uh, 30 years old, and uh, 
this is the key. If you take care uh, about yourself, you continue to stay uh, and to be top. And uh, you know, and uh, yeah, for sure, Cristiano Ronaldo is uh, a really good example. But we have uh, a lot of uh, important players. They continued to have a big, big career for the rest of uh, 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 yeah, of the time that they played. And. In the summer, you said you wanted your team to be a bit nastier in, in a good way, uh, albeit last week you, you said they could be soft at times. Against Forest, you had Christian Romero, Pedro Porro and Richarlison down that right-hand side. We haven't really had much of a chance to talk about Pedro Porro because you haven't been here with your, with your illness, but he seems to have a bit of a, a nasty streak as well. So how much are you enjoying that right side of, of, of Tottenham right now with three players who seem to really have that kind of edge to the game. Yeah, I, I think that uh, if you want to win, uh, and uh, you need to be nasty in every game. Yeah, and uh, because uh, for me nasty, it means that uh, you are really focused in every moment of the game. Uh, you are uh, uh, you are strong from the start until the end. Uh, you are uh, ready to win duels. Uh, to uh, to fight in every moment of, of the game and uh, if the team is nasty and you have a big big probability to to win the game then uh, there are other aspects tactically uh, technically the quality of the players but uh, to be nasty is not for uh, for all and uh, the team that uh, is good is good to become nasty, I think that uh, they have a big, big chance to leave trophy. Thanks, Tom. We've got time for one more. Mike, please. Hello, Antonio. Um, earlier this week, Pep Guardiola said that even if Manchester City win the Champions League, he would regard himself as a failure because a few years ago, Julia Roberts came to Manchester and instead of going to watch Manchester City, she went to watch Manchester United. What would you regard as a, yourself as a fa how would you regard yourself as a failure if someone? Right, Julia, Julia Roberts. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, but I remember because Julia Roberts uh, came also when I was uh, in Chelsea. Yeah. yeah, and uh, yeah, I watched the game and then uh, I had I had the possibility to to know her yeah. into the dressing room. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> But it's good that uh, an important uh, person like uh, Julia Roberts uh, uh, likes no football. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's important for football. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's normal. It's normal for the um, uh, the big coach, important coach, that uh, uh, to try to win every competition that you are going to to play. And I know very well that uh, 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 about Pep, and I think we are talking about uh, uh, one of the most important coach in the world. The importance to win uh, Champions League with Manchester City, you know, after uh, seven years, you know, maybe. Uh, yeah, but you know, and. Uh, uh, During your career, uh, and uh, the failure is part of uh, of your job. The most important thing that uh, uh, is to try, to try to work very hard to avoid the failure. But the failure sometimes is uh, is is part of your, of your job, and the failure push you to become stronger, to become better. But uh, you know. Uh, for the big coach, uh, all the people, the expectation uh, is to leave trophy. Uh, it's the same for me here. If we don't leave trophy, and for sure, uh, the first uh, responsibility is, uh, is from the coach. And uh, I take this responsibility without problems, because I know that the expectation of myself are uh, really high. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.